This is the dream I had on March 15, 2022. I was on a street corner, water up to my thigh. I was able to easily pull my right thigh out of the what may have been muddy water. I actually used my own hand to do it, but that is not animated in this video. I am including it in text though. Then I was holding what I took to be a visa bill. It went from 810 to 840. Then I was on a T intersection and a fellow ran by me. He was saying I'm, I don't say bad words. I put it down what I did. Then he was behind, I think, the house. Right after that, a tow truck went racing by very quickly. It's front light flashing. It seemed to me that it went behind the house and to that man. I looked down the road and wondered where a tow truck for me was. Maybe it was a good thing I didn't get one. I saw that I had a notepad in my hand. End dream. The last time I had a notepad in my dream, I ended up putting letters on vehicles of churchgoers proclaiming the gospel, the walk unto sanctification, and what I believe and know I heard from the Lord. You can find that particular dream on my YouTube channel. It's called Jeremiah 23. About the notepad. These are just my thoughts. When I was water baptized in 2018, Jesus came to my baptism. He came in from a light to the left of the altar, which is yours or my right, and this is viewed facing the altar, and went to the right of the altar, my left facing the altar. From beside me, an angel went from my side and walked obediently up to and behind Jesus. Tucked in this angel's arm was a notepad. Then in the Jeremiah 23 was a notepad, and then this dream had a notepad. I I don't know if they're connected. If they, it just it just makes me think of um, our works being recorded, and I wonder if that tow truck represents uh, people losing possessions in that because of inflation and what is coming. These are things that I ask that you take to the Lord in prayer. They're just my guesses. I, I don't know for sure. You're all invited to chip in what you think, or if the Lord has told you something, please put it down. Thank you. I'm going to give you a bit of the gospel here. John three sixteen through 18. For God so loved the world as to give his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him may not perish, but may have life everlasting. For God sent not his Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world may be saved by him. He that believeth in him is not judged, but he that doth not believe is already judged, because he believeth not in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Romans 10, 8-11 But what saith the Scripture? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. This is the word of faith which we preach. For if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thy heart that God hath raised him up from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart we believe unto justice, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth in him shall not be confounded. After we are saved, we are worked on unto sanctification. Believe in the Lord. He loves you. And I love you too. God bless you.